celebrate. Everyone screen next up, but I'm the number one candidate. Number one. I'm a number one like you said. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, let us see how Jack Hermanson chooses to proceed early in this round. This man has accrued a wealth of UFC experience, headlining and otherwise, and he is just an absolute force on the ground. Prevailing wisdom is that is exactly where he will be looking to take this matchup to. Oh, that is a furious inside leg kick. You ever taken like a five finger to the inside of your leg? That don't feel good. Never mind a kick like a full I mean, slapping your leg hurts. Imagine someone this size kicking you with a shin in the inside of your leg. You cannot take many of those kicks. Come on, Trump. Oh, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Pretty good job blocking that attempt. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went so fast. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. Oh, oh well disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. And the switch kick lands. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. That is how you scramble, folks. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, wow, huge uppercut. That's going to leave them off. Nice block. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. All right, doing work with the jab. And they separate. Guess the single collar tie now. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Hermanson. End of the clinch. Now, let's see if they can... Oh, no. Nice judo toss for him there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. So, both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Hermanson. Just misses there with the left. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots at top. He's got to move his head right away. He's waiting, being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Just over two minutes, round one. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. Deep now. Gets him close and gets that single collar tie. Locked in tight. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, he got him real good, too. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, big elbow. Hermanson's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Making all these shots count. Oh, massive elbows are landing. That's going to leave him up. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so... Is that guillotine? Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, he's got the choke. He's got the choke. It's over. It's over. Trying to leverage those hips to escape, and he does. All right, it was beautiful. All he did, brought his hands to the hips, but... Got him, got him up off of him to release some of that guillotine pressure, and it pulled him back in to control his posture. Hermanson's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. He's got to be careful here. Twenty 
seconds left. 15 seconds to go. Nice transition. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, lands another oh. strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss it, eh? and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick. You ready to fight? You ready? Go All right, on. let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Need to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you can. Oh! Another one. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. He gets to the six. Oh! Yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling it. So final traditional. Kick right under that right elbow. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. You know, I got to tell you, I'm not sure that his face could be much more swollen at this point in time. Got to raise that guard. You got to get the high guard. I mean, at this point, John, you got to forget everything else and get the guard up high, keep the elbows in tight, and try to make sure that nothing lands clean on your face because every time you're going to just get more and more swollen. Well, no denying that he rocked him but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Hermanson's eye is starting to swell shut. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a side. Lands a huge flying knee. Let it go now. Hermanson going for the takedown. He misses. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. Hermanson's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Volkan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now he seems lost to it. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your point. It's hard to watch him target that same area. And every time he lands, the swelling gets worse. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Ground and pound, big weapon for him here tonight. There's the elbow from the top by Hermanson. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Looks as though he's dealing with a cut above the eye here. 
lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Good series of elbows by him there. It's almost like he's ambidextrous when it comes to throwing these elbows. There is no strike in fighting that can really damage your opponent as much as an elbow. He understands that. He's throwing it over and over again. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Oh, some big elbows starting to pile up. And yet again with the ground and pound elbows, good work here by Hermanson. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. He continues to widen with every passing stroke. We head back to the stools, and hopefully this is not the end of the fight, but I don't have to tell you fans out there, the swelling on the face has gotten extreme, and I do believe this fight could end at any moment. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh, Superman. Oh, man. Oh, he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started...